No Let me put it this way, right? Um, there was a point at where it did get out of hand, where I was actively going after pe- people, not not hunting them down or nothing, because they're they're coming to me all the time, but reacting in a way to just actively just one by one. I don't care if it was five, ten guys. Just I'm going to go after every single one of them, right? And they're going to go after me. And uh, it got to the point where the groups coming after me are bigger and bigger. And now I'm like, kind of like how I see a bunch of people trying to go after Darth Dawkins, right? And then there's this group called like Trolling the Trolls. And so I think that that group had, I don't know, 122 members or something like that kind of sworn to report mass report people and unless these people are gone right somehow i made it number one on their list of about 30 people and uh sure enough they got rid of my account but i guess all that to say that i was inviting a lot of this a lot, most of it, I think, actually, in my aggressiveness, because I was embittered by uh, people just attacking me. Well, it's kind of like people attack you, well, you're going to attack them back. I mean, that's, at least that's how I thought back then. And maybe, maybe. It wasn't that they were attacking me and I'm reacting. Maybe, maybe it was such that I was the one initiating it, provoking it, instigating it. And in many cases, it probably was the case. And then so I come over to Clubhouse, kind of almost like a new slate, really began very well, especially with the Muslims and the atheists. And just recently, you know, maybe the last... Oh, I don't know. Two, three months. I almost feel myself like slipping back to the old ways. You know what I mean? And it's not something I want to do. And yet, maybe I don't know what else to do. Maybe I've somehow learned to react a certain way. Maybe I need. You're to on your that. way to the old ways as we speak. <laughs> See, Tom recognizes that. He recognizes that. And I don't Are you familiar to... with um, James 1, 19 through 20? No, I don't know. Because the anger of a man does not produce the righteousness of God. Human anger is the first stop in the line to murder. And to the holy God, a step towards a sin is as bad as the sin itself. Are you familiar with uh, 1 John 3.15? Yeah. It's about love. Uh, I think it's, well, I'm not sure about that. Isn't everyone, it? Maybe I'm thinking of something else, isn't it? Something everyone like who that. hates his brother is a murderer. Right. And you don't know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Right, exactly. If you ever right. find yourself... I don't know with, why I said love, but yeah, I, I knew it was talking about that. Yeah, you show signs of hate regularly. Yeah, no, I don't... See, Tom? These are the few times where I agree with you. But I'm telling you, and I know you don't believe me, most of the times you've been wrong lately. That's fine. Whatever. Nothing is, me being wrong isn't going to change the fact that you confirm that you feel hate. This says, everyone who hates his brother is a murderer. And you know. Right that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. That's if correct. you feel hatred, you do not have eternal life abiding in you. Period. Right. 
You know, uh, Delano. Uh, Delano or, does definitely does yeah. not have eternal life abiding in him. So yeah, I mean, um, how do I put this? Like, like how John said right now, or Alex um, says that I seem calm in a sense. Um, yeah. To, to me, uh, Alex, there's something not right. And that something not right is... Uh, the atheists. No, 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 no. Are you familiar with Matthew know. 6, for, uh, 14 through 15? There's something not right about an atheist quoting scripture to you, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, uh, the, the, I have a lot of questions about Mr. Uh, Rabbit over here. I really do. Um, normally, I ask him, too, for some reason. I think I started to one time, and very, very strangely, which is super rare, he was very secretive. And since well, There's I just nothing... Said, I'm not really an interesting person in that. Um, the stuff that I could tell you. Mm, Most people are not unwilling, as you were, to talk about their previous uh, religiosity or whatever. But you were. That is actually very rare. Well, I just don't. I think it kind of poisons the oil in a way, but I just don't really think it matters. But. Back to okay. scripture, unless you want to move away from scripture, John, do you? Why would I want to move away from scripture? Exactly, that's what I thought. John, very good. John, very good. Good. Are you familiar you with what John's saying? Are you familiar with Matthew chapter 6, verses 14 15? through 15? 14, 14 through 15. 15. Yeah. Well, I'm trying to figure it out, okay. I know mm -hmm. Matthew 6.33 it's actually it's used to be my favorite. Seek, seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. So it's right around there. Seek, knock, ask. Okay, and then... Let me read it to you, so, John Lee. Something about, something about hypocrites, maybe? No. If you okay, forgive seven, others their trespasses, seven. your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses... Neither will your father forgive your trespasses. Right. Do you want your father to forgive your trespasses, John Lee? Yes, of course. Now, th this is the thing, Tom. You can't just wave a magic wand and it happens, right? But, for me anyway, I, I can't speak for other people. For me... I know what it feels like to forgive and be forgiven. Um, and, and even though I kind of know uh, how, or the process, right? Maybe there's an unwillingness on my part or an ignorance on my part. And uh, so clearly there's something holding me back. And it's usually, usually something that has to do with uh, some sort of hurt. You're selfish and stubborn. Selfish. You know, or... you know what's funny, John Lee? Is that... So I know all these things, by the way. You know. Mm, it's interesting, though, because I remember recently you were talking about Matt Dillahunty, and you said, you know what? Okay. This Matt Dillahunty guy. <laughs> He's he's so funny, you know, he's so ridiculous, this guy Matt Dillonty. He says that even if the God of the Bible were real, he still wouldn't worship him. And he's like and you were like, Can you get a can you get a load of this guy? <laughs> I mean, even if he was like real, he still wouldn't do what he what God commanded. And now oh, wow. and now hold on a sec, John Lee. I mean, you You think Jesus is real, right? Right? Of course. Oh, okay, okay. And now I'm telling you the prescription by Jesus. It says, if you forgive others their trespasses, your Heavenly Father will also forgive you. 
But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. So you know, you have the belief that God is real. Surely if you thought God was God, Jesus mm -hmm. was God, you would do what he said, right? Not always. Oh. Oh. And look, look at, look and, at and, and is one of the things that Jesus says to do is to worship him, John? Sure. So let me ask you this. What's the difference between you and Matt Dillahunty? The difference between him and me is such the case that uh, that uh, I fall away in the sense of um, like Peter denying Christ, for example, right? The difference between so your feet like that, are denying Christ. What, what did you just say? Between like Peter and Judas. They're both disciples. But it, hey, what did he just say? Anybody know what he just said? Fall from Christ. Fall from Christ. Okay. Now, fall with away regards to with said, re fall away. Guess. What is he talking about? What's he talking about? You don't know what I'm talking Alex? about. I he think he's about? talking about himself. Falls away from Christ. Falls away from what is that? Was talking about like backsliding or something? John's John's been trying to tell us this entire time that he's been having doubts about something lately. Something obviously doesn't feel right to him. Have you up on that? No. Well, I'm just well, I'm just pointing out to you, John, and it might just even be it might even warrant just a moment okay. of self reflection, John. The criticism no. that you were making Here, thing, of Matt. Here. Hold on a okay. second, John Lee. Can I please okay. finish? Criticism you were making of Matt Dillahunty. And you were <laughs> really laughing it up. It was so ridiculous. Seems like you're guilty of pretty much the same thing. Yeah, I don't think it's analogous, but I, I see where you're going. Well, the analogous property is that if you actually believe that Jesus is real... It would be ridiculous to not do what he prescribes. In Matt Dillahunty's case, that prescription yeah, that is... Uh, excuse me, uh, uh, John Lee, excuse me. In Matt Dillahunty's case, that prescription is that you ought worship me, right? And you laugh at him saying he wouldn't do that. Now, in your case, you know, it's these things about anger and forgiving trespasses and such, and you're not doing them. You are doing the same exact thing as Matt Dillahunty which you mocked. Well, I mean, it's an interesting perspective, but yeah, I, I reject that. Sure. You reject that you are not doing what he prescribes? As you claim, yes, that's correct. But you're not forgiving people of their trespasses. That, that is also correct. And that's a prescription from God? It's a prescription from God, you mean within his decree of will? Yeah. Well, the answer would be yes, of course. Right, so what's what am I getting wrong, John? What you characterize. It's not analogous. But I'm Why not? Think, I, I heard what you said. The analogous property probably, is that there is a decree, there is a decree, prescription, according to God's decree of will, that if one is to believe that God is God, who he says he is, and if he is real, then it would be insane. It would be crazy to not do what he prescribes. Yeah, I, I don't think you understand decree of will. It's maybe, a prescription. Maybe you weren't, uh, maybe you weren't reformed uh, or something. I don't. What know. do you think? It's a it's permissive will. There's certain. There's something in the theology. I don't know if it's your denomination or just the lack of understanding. But uh, it's on his permissive I mean, will. I guess what I'm trying to say is, I Dead think in the theology. It's You're not, trying it's anything so you can, anything you can. It's Anything you can to just keep going along this path of being a Christian troll. Meanwhile, you're criticizing well, I mean, Matt Dillahunty for the very same thing that you're doing. No, How many I, times I did you that. post that meme on Facebook? 
about Matt Dillahunty. Right. I meanwhile, you were, meanwhile, I meanwhile you were doing the same thing or worse. Oh, it, it couldn't be as bad as back then, no. John, do you think why you, close. John, do you think why you feel something is off is because of your troll-like behavior? Or? Yeah, the, my reactionary behavior. I I clearly need um, a little bit of a self control there, a little fruit of the spirit there. Well, you have I to mean, give yourself the benefit of the doubt. You really thought of having self control just now. Yeah, the way the way I look at it, I mean, uh, it could be better. Let's I'll just put it that way. Would you okay. like to take this opportunity? I, I don't see it as like a completely uh. Uh, like out of control or yeah of uh, course not John. or like uh, five other people that need like much more severe help John, over you John, brother this. John would you like to take this opportunity to forgive Matt Dillon brother Tom brother Tom mm-hmm. cutting out yes can you hear me yep now we can affirmative Brother John, would you like to take this opportunity to forgive Brother Matt Dillahunty? Like, get him? Like, what do you mean by get him? Forgive. Forgive. Oh, forgive. Forgive, forgive Matt? Yeah. Can I take a rain check on that? <laughs> I don't know. Does God take rain checks? Uh, presumably. Well, you, well, you know, okay, wait a minute. I know a lot of people personally. I don't know Matt personally. You know that, right? Oh, I didn't know that was necessary for forgiveness. No, I mean... Let me think about this Matt situation. Let's think about it. Do I feel buttered by Matt Dodd? Does he offend me? Do an assessment oh, yeah. of your anal pain. Has he been? I want you to. I want you to. I want you to. I want, I'll tell you what you do. You can assess it, right? I want you to put your phone on video mode. Put it on the floor, tilted towards the hallway, and I want you to walk down the hallway, and then walk back towards your phone, and you'll notice that your gait is altered. Because of severe butt hurt from years and years and years of the atheist experience in Matt Dillahunty. Mm. And that should be all you need to know. Do you understand? Immediately well, delete the video and commit to reform. It's that easy. Well, I mean, I mean, the way I looked at it, like years ago, it was before even Matt Dillahunty was on the scene. It was like pretty much Christopher Hitchens for me, right? Okay. okay, that's great, but and Brother then, Hitchens, Brother Hitchens, chance. Brother Brother Hitchens is with with God now, well, right? Well, so, I mean, oh, so Brother, well, let's God, not let's well. let's stay focused. Let's stay focused, John. Stay, stay with me, John. Stay with me. So I mean, you know, a few days ago, or not a while, a while back, like a few weeks ago, maybe. Uh, didn't he have like a some kind of surgery or something? He was in the hospital. He I had a heart surgery. Like had, uh, right, right. Bypass surgery. Did you pray for him? No, I did not. And you knew about his surgery? Mm-hmm. Why didn't you pray for him, John? Uh, pray the surgery went wrong. No, I wouldn't do that. Because do you know that. you know why you didn't pray for him? Because you have anger and hatred in your heart. It <laughs> translates directly to butthurtedness. <laughs> You're laughing, but I'm 100% serious. That's part of your problem is you think this is a fucking joke. No, do you think no, no, do you I think scripture is a joke when it says I not to have anger and hatred? No, no, no. I take it seriously. I'm not. I'm not. Do kidding. you? Because laughter is not a sign of taking it seriously. No, it, it, it's 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 this. Okay, like I think I think he led a whole generation of younger people astray. Yeah. I think, I think that, uh, um, but in your eyes, that generation, you're a Calvinist, John, 
the entire generation that he led astray doesn't even matter. See, you're using those words. Why? I, I don't. I wouldn't characterize it that way. Led astray from what? Their salvation is not possible, John. You don't even believe that can happen. It's, it's possible to be led astray. What, what are you even talking about? Not from a salvific sense. Yeah, not from Satan. The elect salvation. are the elect, period. You're gonna, not gonna, you're gonna teach me on my side. My the elect are the elect, period, and they're not gonna be the elect because of Matt Dillamanti. Well, they're Come not, on, John. But that's you, you're still missing the point, John. I, I think I John. I'm not explain, John. See, this is where you start getting enough. A little bit wrong. You're enough, on the right path, of, John. Just but, enough. It's enough. Let's just. Let's forgive me. You're on the right path, but but you have your theology. You're on the right path, bud. You're on the right path. Can we forgive Matt? But I I don't think. Listen, listen. If Matt Delahunty is an unresolved issue from years of butthurt or whatever you said, all of those seem like uh, you know uh, they have merit in in what's being said, right? But if you're gonna say something like, well. Like your recent behavior on Clubhouse is directly. Well, I don't want to talk about that. I it want to talk be, about one thing right on time. Right now, I brought up this first. You know. Oh, and what's 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 the book I'm talking about? Ooh. Matthew. Matthew six, fourteen through fifteen. Matthew. Matt. Okay. We'll call Matthew. Oh, yeah. Let's call Matthew this. Let's, five, let's call him six, Matt seven, for seven, short, seven, seven, right? Matt, Matt, so chapter six. Up. Matt, chapter six, fourteen through fifteen. If you give others, if you forgive others their trespasses, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. But if you do not forgive others their trespasses, neither will your Father forgive your trespasses. Now you want your trespasses to be forgiven by the Father, right, John? Well, sometimes not. Sometimes I want to hold on to them. That's surely you know that. Oh, but you believe that God is real, right? Of course. And you believe that this is His prescription, right? Yeah. Huh. So even when you believe that God is real and He's telling you to do this, you're not doing it, just like you said about Matt Delante. And you said that was like insane, didn't you? Isn't that what you said? Uh, it's crazy. Uh, I'd call it obstinate more than anything. Oh, so Matt Delante is just obstinate? No, I'm being obstinate. Oh. Why on earth would you be obstinate if God were real and he was telling you to do something, that sounds crazy. That doesn't matter. I mean, you look at, let's say, Jonah, right? He I don't want to get into that. Look, he knew he was supposed to go to Nineveh. Here's what I'm... Here's what I'm he was obstinate, but it doesn't mean that he uh, didn't, like, deny God existing, right? Well, then, well, then maybe man is just obstinate. Hmm? No, man has nothing. Man, man is mad. Okay. Maybe Matt's just obstinate. Like you. Well, it's probably more than that. Maybe that's, Matt's that's just obstinate. Neither here nor there. I don't John, know why you... John, how do we move forward? How do we move forward? Oh, how right? do we move forward? Yeah. Well, I mean, Matt Dillhunty isn't necessarily the key to move forward. It's maybe an issue, unresolved issue, sure. Matt can... might not be like... the key to moving forward, but... Matt Dillonty might be a start. I mean, I mean, if you really look at it, Tom, you know, you do realize that uh, there's a thing called a perseverance of the saints, right? And so I have that hope, right? So I'm not worried about myself. Certainly not. Right. But you now, do have an interest in at least attempting to abide by God's prescriptions. Well, I'd probably have more interest in you, if anything, but that's neither here nor there right now anyway, either. I don't want to 
Well, we would expect wanna, uh, that because right? we would expect you to it. have more interest in doing that because I don't believe Jesus is real. You do. Right. John. Well, I mean. Yeah, can I make a suggestion, really John? Bad. John, can I make a suggestion? Would you like to pray with me, me, John? Do you want to? Do I want to pray with you? I'll pray with you. Okay. Can you make a prayer about forgiving Matt Dillahunty? Do I want to make a prayer about Matt praying? No, I. You want me no, to lead I'm... you in prayer about forgiving Matt Dillahunty? Not with you, no. Can you take my hand, John? Not in praying for Matt Dillahunty, no. Why not? Because uh, a prayer of a righteous person is effective. I don't consider you righteous. A prayer with a righteous, a righteous person is effective. Well, I mean, it's... I told you earlier, I said, what fellowship does light have with darkness? Are you a righteous person, Joe? Well, uh, in terms of, you know, the faith that I have the righteous imputed by my faith in Christ, yes. So God if you led right if you me. led the prayer prayer prayers from the righteous are effective. If you led the right. prayer about Matt Dillahunty and forgiving him, it would be effective. So it sounds like we've sorted out a plan here. We're ready to go. And you want me to pray for you or for me? I want you to take uh, the first step and curing your chronic butt hurt about Matt Dillahunty. Forgive him of his trespasses so that the Father may forgive yours. Take the first step, putting aside your anger and hatred, following the path that's set well, I by mean, Jesus Christ. Well, I mean, like, to be honest with you, Tom, um, I'd probably need to resolve my issues and my hatred for you than the Matt Dillon to you. I mean, as far as Clubhouse and these rooms are concerned. Oh. I think as far as part, I mean, I'm not trying to say Matt Dillon is not an issue, but I think maybe you're making a bigger issue than what I consider. If it's not that as big an issue, then it seems like it would be easier to do it. No, I don't. I don't think in the do way. You want to pray for me? I don't... You want to pray for me instead? Do you want prayer? Yeah, you do. I want to be here. I will be a witness to your prayer. I will hear it, and it will edify you at the same time. It'll and please, edify me, and and please yeah. Jesus Christ. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and are you going to forgive me? Decide your anger and hatred? I don't know. You don't know? I hope so. Well, here we go. Let's do it. You want me to pray? I, I'm not that good at prayer, by the way. You're probably better at prayer than me. But uh, I can I can John, I don't look at I don't I don't look at prayer as if it's like scoring a slam dunk contest, okay? the ball goes in the basket that's all I'm looking for I don't care if you did that with a layup or a 360 windmill dunk okay it doesn't matter to me so you want me to pray yes okay hmm all right um, uh, dear Heavenly Father, um, I thank you for uh, for being bringing us here together so that we could talk about uh, certain issues that affect us, and to um, look at our, each other with uh, lo love in our hearts and and forgiveness, and to just put all our cares upon your feet, and to uh, love you as you commanded us to love you with all our heart, soul, strength, and mind, and to love our neighbor as ourselves. Uh, thank you for uh, teaching us what it is to love, 
what it is to forgive. And uh, we thank you that uh, we even have this opportunity to even focus on you, to keep our eyes fixed upon you in the midst of our weaknesses. Uh, may we uh, just overlook them and, and to see good uh, in each other, to, to, to compliment each other, to, to edify one another. Um, so if this, if these things that we can do to build each other up rather than tear each other down, uh, can glorify you, I, I pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Do you want to maybe attack on a forgiveness of Tom thing there? Or? No. No. Okay. Yeah. Huh. Not okay. today. To not do that. What is? I think it was inclusive or sufficient. Sure. Um. Do you but mind if I? Tom. Do you I mind if I pray? The... Sure. Please do. Um, dear Heavenly Father, I'm joined by Brother John, Brother John Lee. Now I am just a filthy sinner, reprobate in your eyes but perhaps through me you have some plan perhaps through me you use my words as your words Why am I here? Why am I doing this? Why am I talking to John Lee right now? Why am I reading scripture to John Lee right now? I don't have an answer for that. Maybe I can't understand. Maybe I'm just a tool for you to use to be right here, right now, talking to John Lee. John has been harboring resentment, animosity, anger, and hatred for decades. Directed at reprobates, some just like me, some like Matt Dillahunty, use me to talk to John Lee, use me to reach him. Because he resists your word, even though it comes from my mouth, but they're your words. He resists your words with a passion. He resists some of your words like a reprobate. I can't get through to him, not on my own. But maybe you can. So however you intend to guide him, 
using people here, using me, using others, speaking through others. However you do it. I hope that you're able to reach out your hand to guide John to hear your words for what they are, even though they may come from the mouth of a reprobate. They are still your words. And in the Bible, they are still written in red ink because they were spoken by Jesus Christ. So, I implore you, in Jesus Christ's name, amen. Well, that was interesting. The, ver the verses that came to mind is, uh, if we claim to be without sin, uh, we, we deceive ourselves and the truth is found in us. If we confess our sins, he's faithful and just and will forgive us our sins and purify us from all unrighteousness. I think that's uh, 1 John 1, 8 and 9. Yeah, I mean, I, I've known God for many years, Tom. God is a God of forgiveness. And sometimes it's just easy to just confess them to God. Mm. But I've also know that uh, you can't just uh, pretend uh, you're ready to forgive or got to be sincere and those moments happen and when they are there's just a load off my shoulder there's a certain yeah gratitude. I don't remember a timetable for forgiveness that's specified you don't remember a timetable when you're yeah. ready John yeah, I mean, I don't, I don't remember reading anything about that. Yeah, the time, the day of salvation is today, right? Well, I guess that would apply for you too. Yellow's prayer emojis in the chat, John. Uh, yeah. Do you know that guy? No, Chupa. I don't know the other guy. Somehow, in this room, Looks talking like to me, somehow in this room, speaking to the, the reprobate Tom Rabbit, you've brought glory to God. And you said yourself, said yourself, John, that when an atheist is reading scripture, Scripture is being read. Period. And that brings glory to God. Right? You told me you love when atheists read Scripture. Because the Word of God is being read. Right? John? Well, yeah. I mean... That's always good. Right. But it doesn't seem like you're rejoicing. I was just thinking of a rejoiceful verse. Uh, Philippians 1. Um, you know, whether from false motives or true, a Christ is preached. And because of this, I rejoice. Mm. That's the exact verse you were saying. When you're yeah, talking sounds, about rejoicing. That sounds exactly what I was talking about. Yeah. 
So I was thinking that time. He may not have thought so. Yeah. I was talking to Silver Star. He was saying, you know, maybe even though we have different goals, obviously. I mean, saying, hey, maybe God has a plan for you, Tom. You know? And we talked about some things, you know? I don't want to say about what, but Mm -hmm. I'm not going to say that it's like crazy talk, you know? Um, From his perspective, yeah, I can see that perhaps... Perhaps, you know, maybe I uh, have some kind of purpose in his in his view. Now, I'm a reprobate atheist, and I don't think so. But I'm not going to poo-poo his theory. I can kind of see it from his perspective. I don't like to use the word reprobate because reprobate usually means not just someone who's not saved, but someone who's unsavable. And so I don't like to use that type of word. It's like almost like a loaded term. Like, well, I might be a reprobate then. Well, I, the what the way I operate, Tom, is just from what I know, just from my life, just from my dad. There, there's always hope for anyone. I'm a firm believer. Not for that. not for those that aren't the elect. Well, that's the thing. That's the thing. See, people have a misconception of all of that. Like, Mm -hmm. even just the way you described it, that's not how it is. Even though I believe in the elect, I just think that other people don't understand what even that means. Why, why, Why couldn't you be elect, Tom? Let's just say, for example. It could be, but I could not why, be. Why couldn't everyone here on stage be elect? Of course they can, right? Yeah. I don't know. I can always hope that's the case. But if that's the case, then it's not on my time. In my case, I became Christian eight years later from from my best friend in high school who bought me a Bible that I didn't even want to read for eight years. Lucky I didn't even throw it away, in a sense. But that's how it works sometimes. Everybody has a little different story, right? So, what I do believe, I talked to that guy about, you know, told him, he became a pastor. And what did he tell me? He told me he was praying for me. I'm sure he thought. I believe he's a Calvinist. I don't even know. It's a funny thing. But uh, if he's a Calvinist, I'm sure he believes in the elect, of course. And uh, maybe he hoped I was elect. It's kind of like that. So it's not it's not like how it's portrayed. Certainly not. Like I'm elect and you're not neener neener. No, it's not that way at all. But I think I read the verse. It says that um you have hatred. Matthew? Matthew six, fourteen, fifteen, that one. Uh, I forgot. First John uh, three fifteen. I think it was First John three fifteen. Yeah. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and mm-hmm. you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. Now, do the elect do the elect have eternal life abiding in them? Mm-hmm. Okay, so if you hate your brother, 
you're not the elect. Mm -hmm. You, you mm -hmm. know, it's always been powerful me, Tom. What? Um, to be able to read scripture and to be able to share what one has. And any time that I remember, and I remind you, I've been a Christian almost 30 years. Any time that I've ever read scripture for someone else, never works. And it was, it's always been when it was just meaningful to me, when it's just uh, that I just know what it's talking about. I'm, I'm convicted of the truth of that. And then I speak Not enough it. to do it, though. I'm just saying. And then when I do speak it, though, someone's able to, if they're willing, uh, they can receive it. And that's just always what I've found. To be and live it, John. Live it. That's right. You're not living right. it. You're being obstinate by your own, by your own words. I I don't think you're I don't think you're hearing what I'm saying, but it's okay. I mean, yeah. I'm let me okay let me let me let me today. just be really on. Look, I'm going to be really dead honest with you. Mm -hmm. John, sure, John, John, that's John, good. If you are, John, even though I am an atheist, right? Scripture is a scripture. I can read it. It's not meant to be cryptic. It's supposed to be clear, right? Sure. And when I read this stuff and I watch like you sometimes and concrete most times, that ain't what scripture is about. That's plain to see. It's plain as day. It's what you would call obvious right so someone like me i'm a rep I, i'm an atheist but it's still it's still plain to see john I'm not quite getting what you're saying right now you're not quite getting what i'm saying you guys are obviously not living it. Oh. Oh, yeah. I mean, um, how do I put this? Yeah, I mean, I'll be the first to admit I'm not perfect, sure. But but here's the thing, Tom. It's not mean, about perfection, man. It's not it, about perfection. That's what I'm trying to tell you. I have more faith in God than I ever had before in my own entire life. It's about faith. It's not about what I do. In a sense, how you may think. Of course, it, it demonstrates faith, right? And so if it's the case where I'm not acting it, I don't have that faith, right? But I can't say that I probably have more faith than I've ever had in my life. Now, of course, there's fluctuations of it, you know, in a sense of, uh, but it's still steady growth. And so that's where I am. Yeah, but when you tell me I'm not perfect, mm -hmm. John, you know 1 Corinthians 10.13, right? There hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape that ye 
may be able to bear it. So when you tell me, when you say I'm not perfect, shoulder shrug, bro, not expected to be perfect, and an avenue for you to escape has been made for you, and you are not taking it willfully. John. Go inside. Go to bed. You're telling me? Yeah. Okay. Power down the office for the night. I mean, ought we stop on that? We ought stop on that, shouldn't we? I think I've probably given you a lot to think about. Maybe I've got something to think about. So, maybe you should think about it. Yeah, I mean, certainly I have things to think about. Of course. Think about Matt Dillahunty. With that, I am going to end the room. All right, Tom. Good night, everyone. Well, good night, Tom. God bless you, Matt. It was a good talk.